an army out to set other men free. America should be free ground. All of it. Not divided by a line between slave state and free. All the way from here to the Pacific Ocean. No man has to bow. No man born to royalty. Here we judge you by what you do, not by who your father was. Here you can be something. Here is the place to build a home. But it's not the land. There's always more land. the idea that we all have value hey guys uh welcome to my second game of little round uh second game of hex encounters and i decided i'm gonna do a little round top before saratoga uh, this is the flank attack at gettysburg 2nd of july 1863 the decision games minutes to learn quick to play historically accurate again this is my second ever hex encounter game i've planned so there will be mistakes involved. As you can see, we got the turn right here. And uh, we got the terrain table here with uh, Devil's Den, Clear, Light Woods, Deep Woods, Hill, Stream, Road, Entry Area, and Victory Hex. So you Confederate's going to be the D, Union's going to be the Blue A. And here you go. We got a little round top here. And we got a big round top over here. Um, and then Devil's Den here. Um, if you have a hard time seeing it, just uh, maximize the, your uh, sc uh, TV uh, screen on YouTube. And it looks like we have the coordinates of when, where the Confederates and the Union come in over here. And we got one down here too. So, yeah, this is going to be the first time playing this. So I got uh, the counters clip. It's only a 40 counter clip. And here's the little round top. Players two solitaire is actually uh, medium, so I think it's able to do this in solo. So winning depends on a careful deployment, bouncing maneuver, attacks, and judicious use of leaders. So looking forward to doing this one. I will be playing this game with McMurray. You may have seen him on a Hex to Hex channel, and uh, Todd uh, Wardrobe plays World War II. Uh, we will be using the musket and saber quick play. Uh, just so I'm a little bit getting, you know, I'm still learning, but uh, starting to get a little bit more familiar with this. So, anyways, we are at two minutes on this. I'm going to go ahead and uh, place the Union and the Confederates on here. And I'm assuming it's going to use the two dice one for a morale check and one for uh, combat factors and all that stuff. So, looking forward to getting this one going. And, uh, Welcome to comment down below and uh, let me know all the mistakes I make because there will be mistakes. So, okay, uh, let's see, let's get this thing going. Okay, uh, the Confederates were moved first in this one, and um, as you can see, I left my artillery behind because they were able to uh, bombard six spaces up here. If you notice, there's a little bit of a difference going on here. I stack three because you're allowed to stack three uh, in this game. Uh, anything above stacking three, you get penalized for it. Um, they attacked and they were able to force uh, these two uh, infantries back and retreat and disrupt them. And I gone ahead and uh, stacked two here and brought them over here. Uh, we need to get Devil's Den at the wheat field. And then obviously our objectives are up here, A, B, C, and D. And then Little Round Top is uh, Confederate's objectives over here. So. Anyways, it's looking all right now, but um, the Union, uh, they, I'm just doing their movement right now. I uh, retreated the snipers way back here to over here. Um, stacked this over here to get this thing, uh, try to gather some units here to protect Devil's Den. Uh, these guys, I just had them retreat, as I told you. But now we're bringing in the reinforcements for the Union from up here. So I'm in the middle of moving the Union in, and we'll see what happens. Okay, we're going into turn two here, and um, I had the reinforcements come in here for the Union and brought them down here because they could double move on the roadways, from what I understand. And I got ahead and beefed it up here on the little round top for the Union and brought, it, and brought the artillery on the hilltop here. So now the woods would not be uh, a bothersome for line of sight for artillery. 
Dude, they can shoot seven hexes, man. That's pretty dang cool. Brought the rest of it um, down here and uh, to reinforce the, the infantry down here. And I actually rolled a one and a two to remove uh, disrupt on one of these. Can't do anything with this one because he's within one hex of zone control here, the Confederate. So they're going to be disrupted for right now. And that's pretty much all I did for the unions. And like I said, we're in turn two now, 1630. And this is when um, I am going to be re bringing in the reinforcements for the Confederates. They, they come in here. And I'm going to be moving some of this stuff around here and see what we've got going on. So here we are in turn two, Confederates. Okay, Confederates, uh, turn, turn, turn two after reinforcements. We moved up here, took this objective. And uh, we actually, they came in here and we Confederates have taken Wheatfield. Oh boy. You know, it's all the Union are being pushed back a little little round top here. Had a fight here, and it ended up being a, a no decision on here. Um, they passed their morale check, and yeah, so nothing happened there. Ineffective, whatever. So I did move the artillery up here. This guy's on the hill, so he's going to be able to shoot over here. I think I already discussed this already. Um, couldn't move. I already moved them. These were the reinforcements in here from turn two. Uh, next, is uh, we're doing is the movement for uh, the Union. And um, we'll see what we can do here. Not much going on here for the Union, to be honest. So um, I see a little bit of artillery attack maybe, and then maybe have another attack here trying to protect Devil's Den. Or we try to move. I don't know what we're going to do here. So anyways, uh, let's go from there. Okay, the Union turn in th uh, turn uh, two. Um, like I said, just got them reinforced up here. Uh, we cannot do anything over here. Uh, so not much is going on. It's pretty much the Union. They're kind of on a little round top here. They're like, okay, come and get us here. The Confederates have the wheat field. They're going to try to get the Devils Den here on this on this turn because it's we're in turn three now. And they have just received their last uh, reinforcements down here. Uh, Wofford's uh, group or Wolford's, how you say his name. So I just put him on. I haven't moved him yet because we're going into the movement phase right now with the Confederates in turn three. So let's see what the Confederates can do. Oh boy. Okay, we're in turn three and we did the Confederate movement and the attacks. Uh, Confederates still hold Wheatfield, but they did uh, conquer Devil's Den. So that's another victory point. Um, the reinforcements helped out a lot coming in here. I can only move Wofford up to here, but he's going to be ready for the next turn, obviously. Um, we had to retreat, uh, they were, this, uh, unit was disrupted, had to retreat them back, and then same here, that was what's that devil's den, so, the union are all on little round top here. Now, we got four victory points for a confederate. If I could get C for a confederate, then it's a, uh, the confederate wins. But right now, it's the union's turn for mu movement and attack. And I believe they got reinforcements coming in. Oh yeah, they got. I think they got reinforcements coming in here. We're on 1715. Yes, so they're gonna have some reinforcements coming in here, and we'll see what happens. Here we go. Okay, we are in turn four, and uh, you notice a little difference here. Uh, Union received their last of their reinforcements, and I was able to move a cannon up here on the hilltop, so it'd be able to fire over here to help out. Uh, taking uh, the Confederates out, off a of wheat field here, so they lost that point for right, for right now. So all three of us here try to attack on Devil's Den there, and all we could do was give them a disruption, nothing else. They didn't have to retreat or anything. So the Confederates still have Devil's Den, and they still have, so they have one point there, two, and three points here. So um, this has moved us into turn number four. And it's going to be the Confederates turn, so let's see what happens here. So I thought I'd let you guys see that real quick, and uh, we'll move on. So we're moving right on pr pretty fast here. This is a real fun game here, a little round top. Uh, it's easy, but the strat there's still a lot of moves to make here, you know, strategic-wise and all. So when I got McMurray, and I uh, had the Hex to Hex on, he had to go to bed, so it's just McMurray and I. And then uh, Todd, wardrobe plays World War II, he's joining me on online there. They're watching this, so check their channels out, dude. Uh, McMurray doesn't have one, but, you know, let him tell him to get one. So, anyways, all right, we're going into turn four, and it's Confederates. Okay, Confederates moved, and they attacked, and they 
they got wheat field back. So that was a plus. But when they attack over here, I tried to focus them on this, this unit right here, all these three here, and it ended up a no decision. So that was a waste. And I think, you know, they keep the disruption on because it can't do anything. And that is it. So now we are doing the Union's movement and attack. Okay, Union's turn four. Um, not much happened. Uh, we did get a step loss on the Confederates right here on Weedfield, but we were not able to take it. So no point was earned there. We did win the fight here on Devil's Den, but I attacked the wrong side of Devil's Den. <laughs> <laughs> That's the one I needed to attack right right there. And um yeah, no! anyways, so I biffed it. We are now going into the last turn. Uh turn five here and so the Confederate. So let's see what happens here. It's a pretty close uh game here, so it might come down to the victory points. And let's do it. Okay, uh we finished the game. Finished uh turn number five. Uh the Confederates did what they can. They were able to hold Whit uh, Wheatfield and Devil's Den. Uh, I actually rushed this one in here to see if we could take a little round top and did not happen. It was actually another uh, no decision, whatever. Um, I do not like that. Uh, whatever that, it's a uh, uh, no effect. I cannot stand that no effect uh, on the chart, but it happens. So um, that turned out all right. Um, so I was thinking, okay, uh, we had thought um, the Confederates may win by victory points, but when I brought when I brought the uh, units down here, or this this unit up here to take that, it opened up the roadway because I also moved a unit back in here to take Wheat Wheatfield. Well, this unit, uh, the Union, were up here, and it's double movement points on the road. Well. After uh, the Confederates moved and attacked, it was the Union's turn. Well, uh, it was pretty easy. <laughs> Just used the, the Union, the movement down here to take uh, D. So one point, uh, one point there, two points for a little round top. That makes it three. And then, um, and then for A, that makes uh, point number four. And then B is point number five. So there's your five victory points. Therefore, the Union have one little round top. So it almost was historically accurate because they were, they were getting backed up and I was moving them back to a little round top area here. So, but anyways, very fun game. I enjoyed it. Uh, mistakes, yes. Um, first off, and I was, you know, a little, a little tired, but I don't know how long I had that road o that open there. Um, you guys are probably screaming at me watching this uh, little battle report or whatever of this and like, dude, just move it down. But I didn't see it till the last moment there. And uh, McMurray helps help spot that out for me. So I'm going to have McMurray's uh, video on here because we were playing this at the same time. He flew right through this. He had a blast and um, he, he plays pretty fast and all that. So I'm still learning the ways and all that. And again, I'm getting the hang of this now a little bit. I get a little confused with the disruptions and all that, but how to re the recovery process of that is where I get a little confused on. Besides that, uh, fun game. I'm really enjoying these decision uh, games, these uh, mini game series and all that. So now I will bring out uh, Saratoga and do that one and then go from there. So hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. I try to keep these videos uh, short and sweet if possible. And um, yeah, I didn't have to do any like turn one videos or turn two videos or anything. I just got all the turns in and it worked out really well. And uh, thank you to uh, McMurray uh, for Hex to Hex, Jeff, and for Todd, Wardrobe uh, Plays World War II. Um, check those guys' channels out. Bug McMurray to get a YouTube channel. I think it'd be great if he had one because uh, he's really good at this stuff. So check his video out. Um, it's going to be a brief video. And uh, leave down in the comments what you think of McMurray's video and his gameplay. And Anything else, any advice or whatever, please take advantage of the comments below. I really like getting feedback and uh, listen to what you guys have to say or learn about anything or any your advice or whatever. So, very fun. I will stop talking now. Very tired. It's uh, like 11 o'clock here in Arizona and that's past my bedtime. So, all right, you guys have fun and uh, keep painting your miniatures there and playing your Hex Encounters and all that stuff that involves wargaming. So, take care, guys. Bye.
Alrighty folks, here we are. It's McMurray. You guys have watched Warm Up play Little Round Top. Now you're going to see my results of Little Round Top. I tried to make an end run with a Confederate Brigade right off the bat. Trying to get up to Little Round Top here. Was not able to get there. Almost got there. But they kept a big amount of the Union forces tied up over here which allowed me to push into the wheat field pretty quickly, as well as Devil's Den, where you can see um, the Confederates still hold. Well, at the very end, um, I was having to push the Union back here. It was not doing very great. Um, the Union almost retook Little Round Top on the uh, last turn of the game, and the Confederacy managed to put a really hard hurting on a Union group of troops right here, which resulted in an advance two after combat, which allowed me to get one, two into my final victory hex. So for me, final victory conditions, the uh, Confederacy controls one, two, three points worth of victory locations, as well as one, two points worth of the wheat field and Devil's Den, totaling five out of nine victory points, which is what is required to win Little Round Top. So I have a Confederate victory at Little Round Top, sort of a relatively historical um, result. Obviously, the Confederacy have gotten a little closer to Cemetery Ridge up here than historically, but even so, um, you know, it's not, not too terribly far off. But anyhow, so again, this is McMurray. That's the end of Little Round Top. Hope you enjoyed watching Warm Up and I play this kind of in two, two similar veins. We'll try and do some more of this, all right? Have a good one.